But that's what I got today. I got some Captain D's, and I had to eat my leftover uh, crab legs. Today was the last day. You know what? You guys can be anywhere in the world, but you in Row Row's world, and I appreciate it. And I just broke my fast, and I'm hungry. So you guys are ready to pray. I need to just eat, okay? Okay. How you guys doing? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. If you guys here with some fish, this tartar sauce over here. It ain't too much I can eat now, y'all. Since I cut out B, so I no longer eat B. So given I don't eat pork, hush puppy. I need to slow down. So I'm getting sick. I do, I do. Mm -hmm. I don't really ain't got too much to talk about. So there you go. And you gonna like to. <clears throat> Y'all see I'm all in, in my robe, really relaxed. Um, but so I do I got something to talk about I thought I didn't but I didn't let me tell y'all what happened to me today weird thing so I go over to excuse me y'all Y'all know I'm hungry. I go over to um, Beloved Shannon. This is so have some love. And she posted a video earlier this morning. I got chicken strips as well, y'all. Yeah. Um, Come in right now. Hold on. Hold on up. I don't know. I just be cracking with my teeth. I don't know. So good. So I post a comment under her video. Cold slow. And I was like. I appreciate watching her videos because during Ramadan, I can't eat, so I just like eat through her, basically. You know, like just a little uh, jokey joke, you know. I really ain't. I just like the little comments, so 
I can't eat, but I watch dirty. Basically. So then you get two other two more of her followers that is participating in Ramadan as well. And they wish me a happy Ramadan and agree with me, like, for real, for real. So, Jim, I get a Debbie Downer out of the blue. And she comes under the post and posts that below don't like no one that doesn't believe the father in the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. So she basically said like she don't want you here. What's the most stuff? And I'm like, what? Huh? I've been following her for years. Now, whatever her belief is, that's her belief, you know. Um, have I ever heard her say, my corn is still cold. Have I ever heard her say she don't like, um, Muslim? No, I have not. But whoever the woman is, I should have screenshot. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to screenshot it and put it at the beginning of this video when I edit. So you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So... My thing is, who are you to come on somebody post and speak for this woman? You know what I mean? So, I'm not finna feed into the negativity. That's what I'm not gonna do. Like, I already went through that with my... my video that I did on the impersonation. Like, I had people I just being rude. So, I kind of kept my peace, but I was still telling them to get on and off my bus at, okay? But I'm like, I'm not finna... I'm not even finna start that or do that. I'm I'm just not, you know. So I'm like to the lady. I said, um, be loves um beliefs. That's her beliefs, and mine is mine. And I look at her, and I have no issue with her. Still don't. Okay. That's none of my concern nor my business. Or neither was it hers, but so I said to the lady, don't be so quick to wanna spread negativity, you know, or evil or something that around in there. You know, like you so frantic to jump on somebody post to be negative, you know what I mean? Who left you in charge? 
Don't do that. We got a lot of stuff going on in the world today. Way more important stuff than this foolery. You know? Well, I guess you bored at home and ain't got nothing to do. So, your first go-to is negativity. Super sad. Super sad. Shame on her. But I said many blessings to you. That's all I got. And so then, another lady chimed in, like in a grin, like, and saying, and saying to me, thank you for, um, got shrimp too, guys. Thank you for being positive or something. Like, she don't know what's wrong with people. Which was nice. Some people I think before they speak. For real. If it's not worth saying, they just don't say it. You know? Just don't say it. Shut up. I I know there's a lot of, and it's crazy because you know you you want your followers, but I'm pretty sure you want positive followers. You don't want that drama, negativity, but. You don't know who's following you, you know? So, it's pretty hard to be a public figure, I bet. People are crazy. They be swaying up and down like, they know these people. You don't know her. You know what I mean? It is crazy. Crazy sad. Ridiculous. So, yeah, that happened. Yeah, I don't, I probably ain't gonna see no crab legs on here for a while. I ate crab legs. Three, three days straight. No. It hasn't been three days straight. Because I had Captain D's yesterday. I like leftovers, y'all. I don't know. Some people don't like it. But I do. I do. I do. Hmm. Let me tell y'all one of the benefits for me. I know some people are doing Ramadan. They gain weight. Because they have a feast, which I ain't mad. I think it's an awesome celebration to so celebrate. You've been through another day of your fast. It's a fellowship with each other. Well, there'll be a lot of food. Or end up gaining weight or whatever. But me, I lose. I'm already four pounds down. So, 
I'm I'm happy about that. I really am. That chicken strip is really, really good. It's like, remind me of a, a homemade strip. Um, check me out with my lip gloss on, y'all. You been coming on here with that Melissa. Forgive me, y'all. So, I decided to vlog my Ramadan experience. I'm excited about that project because I feel like it'll help a lot of newcomers out. And also, People that have their own struggles doing Ramadan, I think it's a positive thing. So I decided to do a weekly update, but I post video in one at the end of Ramadan on my weekly updates. Uh, how is it how is going for me being that it'll be really like okay guys i'm back when i get a call it just bloop that's why i need to be to do it on my camera and i have a, a camera but i be being lazy because i be working so much Doing that mean I have to edit and stuff and get on the computer and versus if I had everything on the phone I could just pop 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 you know but anyhow, woo! I'm full but I'm gonna stop right here that was good my corn was cold, y'all. I couldn't eat my corn. I didn't finish my egg. Or my chicken. But, it's all good. Coleslaw, though. I knocked off. I love coleslaw. Um, oh, like I was saying, though, before I, I close out, I'm just going to be vlogging. Or my Ramadan experience. So I'm excited about that. Baby, by the end of this month, baby girl gonna be snatched. Not only is she gonna be snatched, her knowledge is gonna be like, eh, 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 eh. It look like I got a towel or something stuck down. <laughs> I just had to cover up really fast, you know. You know what's so crazy? I be pushing this behind my ear like that because I be coming on here doing these videos, looking a mess. And to me, right now, I look so beautiful, no makeup at all, and covered. And I just feel like this go with me. Like, I ain't mad at all. It's a beautiful thing. Cover girls are beautiful. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And tell your neighbor, don't be negative. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hello.